Beardo Benjo. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new week of videos where I get to showcase a brand new VR mod to all of you and I'm really excited to do so because this VR mod is for probably my favourite walking sim of all time. The witty, hilarious and undeniably clever The Stanley Parable. But to be more specific, this VR mod is for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, the new version that was released fairly recently. Now this VR mod is being created by the same person who made the Firewatch mod, the Hard Space Shipbreaker mod, which I think is still in production, and the Outer Wilds mod. And that person is, I'm going to get the name wrong and I'm going to try not to, Ray Kupata? Or Ray Kupata? I think that's right. I hope I'm right. Now this mod is currently available on their Patreon. I will put a link to it in the description to this video. But I just wanted to do a couple of loops of the game to show you what it's all about if you haven't seen the Stanley Parable before. And I'm sure you probably have. I imagine everyone in the world at this point has played the Stanley Parable. But I wanted to explain the gameplay loop of the game in this video so that you can make up your minds as to whether it's something you'd like to play in VR. As VR players, you might not have played it. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this is a full motion control VR mod, which I know is everyone's favorite kind of VR mod. Everyone's always kicking off when it doesn't have motion controls. People coming into my Dark Souls streams and saying, ah, it's not real VR. Well, you'll be happy to know this one has motion controls and it looks amazing. It looks absolutely fantastic in here. The 3D is so clean and crisp. It, it looks absolutely like a native VR game and it runs exceptionally smoothly because the Stanley Parable, even though the Ultra Deluxe version is a fairly new product, the game itself is, is pretty old. Um, I think it was 2013? I think it was 2013, so it's optimized to run well on almost all PCs. So this VR mod just links onto that and it, it runs like a dream. Now the game itself is a commentary on the illusion of choice in video games. That is the most simplistic way I can describe the Stanley Parable. It does go deeper than that. But it's about the way that we feel like choices are presented to us and the way that we feel we actually have some kind of bearing over the direction and the story of any given game or product. Do we really or is it just an illusion? I absolutely love this game. Let's get into it. I'm going to do a couple of loops of the game and uh, yeah, then I'll summarize. Off we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He had simply missed a memo. Now, I have been playing with this mod a little bit previously to recording this video, so I've had some time to kind of get some thoughts in my head. Now, I've noticed two bugs that I wanted to highlight. Now, the first one is this. The game does have a crouch button, so if you press the trigger on the left controller, you crouch. If you keep pressing it and repeatedly crouching, you will get smaller and smaller until you go through the floor. <laughs> See, I'm leaving the world. If you keep doing it, I can get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. So this mod is brand new, I think, today or yesterday. Um, and there will be glitches, there will be issues. <laughs> but I just wanted to highlight that one in this video in case, um, in case Mr... Ray Raker Parter, I'm going to get it wrong, um, didn't know about this and wanted to fix it. So you can constantly crouch and then go under the floor. But if you hold the right stick down, you reset position. So there is a fix for it. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. The bucket. The glorious bucket. This bucket is like an old friend to me. It's like the companion cube from Portal. And none of this will make sense if you haven't played Ultra Deluxe to completion, but the bucket is amazing. Let's pick it up and take it with us. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. Oh, yeah. You'd never be alone again. Not true. Mm -hmm. Not with the bucket around. You're never alone when you've got the bucket. Um, <laughs> one thing to point out, I have completed the game. Um, or at least done what's considered to be like one of the final loops. So things like these balloons and the bucket, they won't be there when you first load into the game if you pick it up yourself. Does it say, was it saying there? Coffee, coffee butt? Coffee nut? Coffee nut. It must say coffee nut. That makes sense. A little spillage down there. I hate Mondays. I wish I could pick stuff up. That would be great, but you can't even in the flat screen game. So I do hate Mondays. And uh, coincidentally, it is a Monday today. 
I can just never get myself like geared up on a Monday, you know? Doesn't matter how much sleep I've had on the weekend, doesn't matter how rested I am, I just I just can't get ready for Mondays. Sales in this quarter. That doesn't say quarter, that says quatter. Sales in this quatter. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest yes. and entered the door on his left. I did. Oh, okay. So, this is where the game starts to present choices to you. So, the narrator just told me I need to go through the door on my left, but I, I can't be controlled. You know, no one can tame me. You can't tell me what to do. So I'm going through this door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. I don't care. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. The bucket him does call to that me. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. We're going to the employee lounge. It is the place to be. And that's where the bucket wants to go. And uh, I just, I, the only person I listen to is the bucket. I think something about just generic office blocks and office cubicles is really unsettling to me. You could make the best horror game in an office block if you wanted to kind of has that back rooms vibe to it I guess it's these lights and the kind of the noise the, the noise they let off horrible and here it was had the bucket turned out to be correct was this better than the meeting room oh. yes Stanley thought to himself yes perhaps it truly was how insightful the bucket turned what out a cold to be. drink give me a cold drink why can I not have a cold drink what's in there oh I could almost read that something memory of the Oh, it's just a little bit too blurry. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. It is. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. So First, much. Walking through the door on the right, then mm -hmm. walking to the lounge, then mm -hmm. arriving at the lounge. What a mm -hmm. thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. It's been thrilling so far. Now, we can stay in this room and the narrator will continue to talk, but you have to push the story Perhaps on if you want. So, like, if we sit here. The bucket felt most truly at home. He will just here keep talking. In the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. <laughs> but we're not going to stay here. We are going to push on. Let's push on. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge. Yes. And they took the first open door on their left to no. get back to business. I don't want to go that way. It does look cool. Don't get me wrong. I like all of that in there. But I can't be controlled. You cannot control me. My choices are my own. I'm going this way. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Oh. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't. Okay, the, the, the bucket's talking to me now in a strange, uh, kind of high-pitched goblin voice. No. Okay, I don't like that. It's probably not great. Caution. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Don't tell me what to do. I can lie if I want to. It's my birthday, and I'll lie if I want to. Okay. So that must be the cargo lift. Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of the cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift is $5,000. So they'll charge you even though you're dead, which is absolutely ridiculous. There's a collectible over there. How do I get that? <gasps> okay, I need, I need the collectible. How do I... There's no jump. Oh! 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 I'm gonna get it! Okay. Okay, come come on. Yes! Look at it! Look at the glorious Stanley collectible! Put it in the bucket. Put it in the bucket. There we go. Okay, I'm going back to the oh. name of oh. these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlarines uh. and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? I like What name better encapsulates Stan the intrinsic sense of happiness? That you get from seeing a small mm. number in the corner of your screen go up by one. <laughs> Stan on it. This is not a gameplay or story loop that I've done. Um, oh my god, hello. This is terrifying. I haven't done this loop before. <gasps> so I don't know what to expect. Oh. Hello? H hello? Oh, I don't like it down here. Oh, it's nightmare fuel down here. What's all this stuff? What's all this jizzy nonsense on the floor? Oh, it looks more chalky than jizzy. Still not great. Still not great. Bucket, where are we? Um. Um. What's with all the tapes? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Uh. Hello? Oh. What's that done? Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number... What? I don't even know. I've lost track. What's happening? 
nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study <laughs> this bucket, the less sense anything makes. What is the going on? The euphoria I feel <laughs> every time oh my God. I pick it up. Everyone's obsessed no with the bucket. How many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. <laughs> no. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Okay, that creepy tape recorder was an ending. That was an ending I hadn't seen before, and I don't know what was going on down there. I've made my way back to the cargo lift. Let's pick up where we left Good, off. said the bucket. Before I was now distracted. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. By toys. There's something up there I need you to do. Okay. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. No, never it questioned that. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. Yeah, they but can. This one can. chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. Yes. And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. It does. Gorgeous, wonderful bucket. I love it. All my hopes and fears are just... Gone when I hold the bucket. Everything's better. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once Ooh, again obeyed blindly. <laughs> I don't know. You're starting to get a bit creepy, bucket. Uh, also, this room isn't dark. It's lovely and well lit, unless you mean a different room. But I don't think you do. So let's go in here. Ah. 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 Okay. Do you really want me to go in there? In there? In the death room? In the pitch black death room? I don't want to go in there. Oh, come on now. Hello? Oh, Jesus, lordy, lordy, Jesus. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick I don't up want the to. phone, and it will take us back home, <laughs> where we can to. go about life together. I don't want to. Hello? Oh, hello? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and what? his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use uh, a friend. I was lonely. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. It can! Okay, I'm small again. Let's go big. Shall I ding-dong the bell? Hello? 427B? No one in there. Alright. This is a nice house. This is a nice change from the office scenario. And there's the bucket, right under my favourite poster for jazz music. Generic jazz music. Come here, bucket. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press X to take me to work with you. Ah. Okay, this might be an opportunity to highlight the second bug I found uh, whilst playing uh, with this mod so far. Hello again, Mr. Mod Creator. If you're watching, it's me, Beardo Benjo, a fan from your Patreon page. Keep up the good work. You're amazing. I always get excited for your new VR mods. There's currently no way to accept these prompts with touch controllers. I've tried all the buttons and uh, nothing nothing works. So in these instances, you, you have to plug an Xbox controller in or something to accept the prompt. That's the only way I figured out how to get around it. So I'm going to plug in an Xbox controller. Bear with me. Okay, Xbox controller is plugged in. Let's press X to take me to work with you. Off we go. The there Stanley we go. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give it does. orders. It does. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. It's not. I'm not going crazy. The bucket's my friend. Hello, bucket. Hello there. Press down on the D-pad to take me back home with you. Can do, bucket. Let's get the flip out of here. Huh. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? It's not inanimate. I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't <laughs> know if he'll listen to me. I love how weird this game is, by the way. Like, it's very much my sense of humour. Just kind of weird, dry, wry, British, oddball, bizarrity. I just love it. Press B to go back to work. Right, we're going back to work. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Yep. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It's not. It can't think. It can. It can't talk. It can. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that it is the purpose do of a bucket. Anything else. Mm, well, I would uh, agree to disagree. 
don't listen to the loud man. Press left on the D-pad for us to go back home. Okay, let's do it. Let's go back home. Oh, it's dark. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, <laughs> once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me Never again. he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. It's not awful. stupid hunk of metal. You shut your mouth, narrator. Don't you dare speak ill of my bucket. Press right on the D-pad to ignore anyone in your life except for me. <laughs> I think they'd actually probably struggle to map all these buttons to the quest. I don't know what you'd have to do. Maybe do a grip on one of the controllers and then bring up like kind of a, a dial, like a circle wheel to select like A, B, because it's basically asking for all of the Xbox prompts right now. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. I don't need you anymore, bro. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of oh. shiny bucket. Shiny bucket. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to right? it. Right? So shiny. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Yes, I do. Press Y to go back home. All right, all right, let's do it. We're going back home. We're going back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't <laughs> quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? He's, start, Sturdy, he's starting to feel it. More capable of transporting liquid. The narrator's like starting to understand. Moving an amount of water from one room to another. <sighs> the narrator's starting to understand. Press Y to relive this same day with me over and over. Gladly. Gladly. Oh, oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from <laughs> room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally <laughs> just a bucket. <laughs> Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket because it is so much more press x to go home to work to go wait what press x to go home to work to home to work to home that's a pretty good summation of what's happening right now oh, oh no i'm i'm having feelings <laughs> the bucket no oh, no 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 what's going on why do i want to be oh, with it's the looking bucket sexy yeah, what the bucket here. has to say do anything it asks what's wrong with me i don't oh, hey understand there. perhaps <laughs> perhaps if i had the bucket this would be less confusing yes am i the bucket could gonna make sweet to love do to a bucket in this right now. troublesome situation is that gonna happen is this a real thing that's gonna happen are we gonna are we gonna get down and dirty with a bucket i feel like that's the natural Progression for this? Stanley, give me the bucket. No. Give it to me. Give it's me mine. the bucket, Stanley. No. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll. <laughs> well, that was a rather interesting loop, if I do say so myself. Seems I fell in love with the bucket, and so did the narrator, and then we fought over the bucket, and then All I ended up back here. Were gone. So. What could it mean? Stanley decided yeah. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply <laughs> missed a memo. <laughs> Okay. So, as I said at the start of the video, if you haven't played this game before, it's all about looping scenarios, but you can change things by interacting with different objects in the environment. Ha ha ha, 420. Yeah. Stanley went oh. around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't <laughs> make did. a single difference, nor did it advance the story in uh, any way. But 420, come on, man. I expected there to be at least like a 420 joke. Come on now, Stanley. Um, so, yeah, you go through and you replay over and over again making different choices and the different choices result in different endings so I'm not going to pick up the bucket this time but picking up the bucket could lead to a ton of different branching storylines like we took the bucket and we went right we could have gone left and then there's so many choices you can make but I'm not going to take the bucket this time I'm going to do one more loop and then we'll summarize and then we'll finish off so back to this room when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left. Hmm. You know what I'm going to listen to you? I'm going to listen. I'm going to come this way. I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to be a good boy. Oh. It's a meeting about the collectibles. How can we find them? Bomb text. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Warehouse access plan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like these drawings. We need more plans. I like that. Places to search. LOL looks like 427. Ha ha ha. Is 427 Stanley? I'm not sure. Okay, so what have we got? I've collected four of them, but I still need two more. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. I will find them. I will find them. There will be a reward for finding them all. There better be. There will be cleaning of this wall required. <laughs> Who are you, 666 LOL? I, I love the humour of this game. I think it's just so silly. But some of the endings get so deep and convoluted that uh, they're just incredibly clever. 
Ah. I love the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but yeah. there was nothing here. Oh, so okay. he turned around and got back on track. Alright, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Thought I'd just check. You never know. You never know. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Is that saying that it wants to be, uh, want to be rich and commit crimes at the same time. I think most rich people have committed lots of crimes. I mean, I don't think that's a particularly controversial opinion. I think the richest people in the world got there because they're ruthless, ruthless people and probably have committed multiple crimes. Why are they pointing a gun at the panda? That's not fair. Business strategy. We need a different strategy. S-T-R-A-T-E-R-G-Y. Oh my god. Right, boss's office is here, but there is an elevator here. So I'm going to do a little bit of disobeying, and I'm going to see if I can escape to go somewhere else. Happy days, happy days. Right, let's go down to a different floor. Here we go. Oh! Oh, yeah. Bit of a boss and over. Yeah. This elevator does not function as an elevator should. It doesn't take you anywhere. It just you just go in there, it plays a bit of music, you have a slight dance, and then the door opens and you're back on the same floor. That's not an elevator, it's a dance box. Two completely separate things. Completely separate things. Right, boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Mm. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. I don't what know. What dark secret was being held from him? I don't what know. What he could not have known was that oh. the keypad behind the boss's desk Chianti. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. <gasps> and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Which is? 2845. Uh, but of two, course, eight, Stanley couldn't possibly four, have known four. this. I do know it, because you just told me. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley oh. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, I look so good! He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is a really impressive VR mod. This is running so well. Um, and I know walking simulators aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Like, don't get me wrong, this is not an action-packed game. You're not going to be shooting baddies. You're not going to be running away from explosions. There's no big set pieces. It's all about the narrative. It's almost like an audiobook. So I would say play it seated, relaxed. Chuck it on for a few hours and just keep looping. Trying different things, getting wackier endings. It's a great experience. If you haven't played it, I would highly recommend it. Ah, spooky basement. Here we go. All right, calm down. Bit of a portal vibe down here. Bit of a portal vibe down here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, but that says escape on the wall there. And, you know, I've. I, um. Oh, come. Come on now. Mm, I like escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Nah. No, nah, I'm alright, thank you. But of course, Stanley felt better off it and realised oh he simply God. had too much to live for. I do, and this room looks so intriguing to me. What the hell is this? Is that just one big button? The lights rose on <gasps> an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this oh place Oh my God, it's like the architect Stanley from The Matrix. Himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Let's find out, let's find out. Oh! Off we go. Okay. Can we turn these screens on, please? Let's press this one. Beep. Now the monsters oh. jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Oh, Each it's so cool. The number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, oh, man. Them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom means nothing here. The whole game is a commentary on our lack of freedom and choice. Elevator. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It it's couldn't like, be um, true. Had Stanley really been under someone's inside. control all this time? What's going was on with that one? Was the only reason he was happy with his boring job? There's that weird his emotions one there. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? 
In we go. No. Oh. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Pirate. His own life in someone else's control? Pirate. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Let's, let's shut it down. Let's shut down the whole damn system. Off. Off. And we when at last he found the source of the room's power, mm -hmm. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible We're place doing it. and to everything it stood for. We're doing it. Now what? Hello? It's very dark. Hello? Blackness. Huh? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Uh huh. Was it over? I don't know. I hope so. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Oh, that's cool. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. I can see my hands from Freedom here. Freedom was mere moments away. Come on. And yet, Freedom. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how <laughs> it many looks puzzles so good. still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? I don't know. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Oh. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Doesn't matter. Or it was not We're knowledge leaving. or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps <laughs> and we've his got goal it. had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. This is so Whatever cool. Life he lived, this is so it will be cool. His. <laughs> And that was all he needed to know. Holy it was perhaps shit. the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. We're doing it. And that is another ending for the Stanley Parable. That's two endings of many. Many, many endings. Well, technically we've seen three today because we did the tape recorder as well. But that's just three endings out of Stanley tons. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. <sighs> The immense possibility of I'm the free. new path before him. I'm free. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And then we wake up back in this damn cubicle all over again to try something different. All of his co workers. It never were ends! What could it mean? It never Stanley ends. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. <laughs> Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I absolutely love the Stanley Parable, I always have. This VR mod needs to be running with the Ultra Deluxe version, which is the newer version, so if you are going to get it, make sure you've got the right version of the game. And yeah, fans of Walking Simulators, if you haven't played this, you have to come and check it out. It's so dry, so witty, so funny, very clever in many places, and just a great commentary on our lack of choice or the illusion of choice in video gaming in general. Shall we finish the video by jumping off the cargo lift? They did tell me not to. I'm quite tempted to do that. That's a good Stanley one to do. Was so bad at following directions, Let's do that. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Well, you know, there's no one else working here. I can't get fired if there's no one else working here, you dick. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, as I say, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I will see you very soon Look, for Stanley, another one. We've another on fantastic VR here. mod here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Okay, where I can I go? I realize that investing your trust in someone um, else can be difficult, but the um, fact is that the story is about jump onto nothing No, I'm jumping off. You all this time? Whee! There's someone. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yeah, that Good sounds job, about right. Stanley. Everyone I've broken the game powerful. so badly. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon for another one. Don't jump off that thing because it breaks the game completely. It goes really weird. But uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you later.